Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm good. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Me disculpo de antemano que no tengo mi cámara. Quiero evitar problemas de conexión que hemos tenido los días anteriores. So I'll just keep it off for right now. Lo voy a mantener apagado por ahorita. Um, but we are here. And we are good. I'm glad to hear that you are doing good. Good evening to everyone that is joining. Good evening a todos los que se están uniendo. Today is the last week of this module. Hoy es la última semana de este módulo. Pretty exciting. Es emocionante. We are almost done. And we have some additional topics to review today. Tenemos algunos temas adicionales que revisar hoy para continuar learning. So, let's see. I see we are 10 people. Veo que estamos 10 personas. That's great. That's awesome. Perfect. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Déjenme compartirles mi pantalla. These are the topics that are, we are going to be talking about today. Estos son los temas que vamos a estar hablando hoy. We will cover cities and time zones. We will review some additional material que tengo. Se los voy a enviar también a WhatsApp so that we can check it. And we will also talk about time expressions. How to talk about the time with people in different time zones. Cómo hablar de las horas y el tiempo con gente que está en otras zonas de tiempo. And we will do a knowledge check. Vamos a hacer un knowledge check. Esto es parte del material that we are going to be talking about. Se los voy a mostrar. Y, some, y también se los voy a estar enviando a WhatsApp. Se los voy a enviar a WhatsApp ahorita en lo que se unen todos los demás y esperamos para estar la mayoría de gente posible. Let's see. Déjenme enviárselos a WhatsApp so that you can have it para que puedan tenerlo a la mano si lo necesitan. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Okay. This is the second one. Esta es la segunda. Y ahorita no les estoy mostrando la pantalla, pero ya se las voy a mostrar. All right. Ya se los envié a WhatsApp y ahora les voy a compartir la pantalla nuevamente. Ok. Ya estamos aquí de regreso. So as you can see, since we are going to be talking about cities and time zones, vamos a hablar de ciudades y de time zones. Vamos a ver también más adelante uno solo de United States, porque eso es muy, 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 muy amplio. Solo en Estados Unidos hay una infinidad de ciudades. So um, we will start with the um, basic ones. Y lo que quiero que veamos es la diferencia entre algunos de es eh, Estados Unidos, de América y de Europa. So, let's go ahead and start by checking our platform. Shall we? Un pequeño reminder. Yo sé que ya les hicieron el reminder en um, WhatsApp. Pero esta semana ya estamos trabajando en la Section 5. Um, yo sé que puede que hay algunas personas que ya van más adelantadas. So, that's awesome. That's super great. Thank you for being here. Gracias por estar aquí. Si ya igual van más avanzados, we will get to that. Y eh, um, if, eh, eh, es verdad, esta semana vamos a terminar. We are going to work on this section five. Y para el jueves vamos a estar trabajando en el final test. Así que, let's get this started.
Let me see if I'm sharing my audio with you. I think I'm not. Okay. Ahora sí. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation okay. that we just heard. Vamos a regresar briefly a la primera imagen. All right. So as you can see, here we have some of the... Um, Big cities in the world, algunas de las ciudades grandes en el mundo. We have Seoul, we have Tokyo in Japón, we have Moscow in Russia, in Rusia. We have New York City in the United States. Otra, y la capital de Estados Unidos, pues que es Washington, pero no es tan grande, right? So it's mm, relatively small. Eh, tenemos Los Angeles, Mexico City in Mexico. Lima but in Peru, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, both in Brazil. Y lo que es interesante es ver que hay países tan grandes, like Brazil, in the New York City, and I'm sorry, in the United States, that have different cities like New York, Vancouver, um, I'm sorry, like New York, Los Angeles, Vancouver, and Canada, eh, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, and Brazil que tienen diferentes time zones. Entonces, what is central time? What is specific time? Vamos a ver eso ahorita. Let me move into a different picture. And we will do this one. For the time that we use, para el tiempo que nosotros usamos, al menos que nosotros usamos aquí en El Salvador y en América, we will be referencing this time. Vamos a estar haciendo referencia a este tiempo. Nosotros usamos CST time or Central Time, Central Standard Time. CST, Central Standard. Time, right? Y es el que ustedes van a ver en el reloj, like six hours. Right? Luego tenemos también Eastern Time. Eastern, están todas. Eh, esta zona de aquí, Atlanta, New York, Washington, Boston. So, como lo dice el nombre, más al lado del este, al Eastern Time. Y ellos van una hora, eh, una hora adelante. So, cuando sea aquí las 12, allá van a, va a ser la 1. Cuando sean aquí las 4, ya va a ser las 5. Mountain time, y ese es Eastern, o EST. Eastern Standard Time. 
right? Tenemos Pacific. They are two hours ahead. Están dos horas adelantados. So when it's 5 p.m. here, it's 3 p.m. there. Cuando es que son las cinco, ya son las tres. When it's 1 p.m. here, it's 11 p.m. there. Cuando aquí es la una, ya son las once. And that's BST, Pacific Standard Time. Lo mismo con Mountain, Mountain Standard Time. Europa tiene sus propias Europe Central Time, right? Europe Central Time. Pero estos de eh, Estados Unidos son los que nosotros va, más vamos a ocupar o más usualmente vamos a ocupar porque son los que nos quedan más cerca y son los que ocupamos de reference. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan hasta ahorita? Questions, observations, comments? Is everything clear? Hasta lo que hemos visto hasta aquí. All right. Entonces, movámonos a la conversation and we will do some practice. Vamos a movernos a la conversación y vamos a hacer la práctica. Can I please have some volunteers in the chat re, uh, to read? This conversation. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a leer esta conversación? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. I need nine people. Nine personas who can type me in the chat to read the conversation. Para leer la conversación. Veo que estamos 22 personas. I see that we are 22 people. So, can I please have nine people? Nine personas que quieran ayudarnos a leer la conversación. Me. All right. Bueno, ocho porque el hello, right? So. Who else? Who else wants to participate? Me. Hello, teacher. Yo quiero participar. Okay, hello, super. Hello, teacher. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. Tenemos entonces a Gustavo, a Herbert y a Salvador. Perfect. All right. Let's start with you guys. Vamos a comenzar con ustedes. Voy a leer lo de Debbie y ustedes van a leer el siguiente. Entonces, I would say, hello, and Gustavo, can you please help me reading John's section here? Okay. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. From Australia. That's right. Australia. Thank you, Sal. And Debbie says Australia. And Herbert, can you please help us reading this section? Nos puede ayudar a leer esa sección, Herbert. Herbert. Perdón, perdón. That's it. I am, I am a conference in Sydney. Remember. Thank you, Herbert. That's right. I'm at a conference in Sydney, in Australia. Remember? Uh, teacher. Sí. En la pronunciación de I at, es verdad. I'm at. Sí. I'm up. Right. A, a conference. Conference. Okay. I'm at a conference. I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Okay. Yes, All right. What time is it there? Salvador, can you please help us here? Oh, it's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. There is in Los Angeles, right? Thank you, Salvador. 
It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles. Remember, we're talking in English. We're speaking English, so we say Los Angeles. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? All right. And then, yes, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, can I please have, let's see, let's see. Can I please have Elmer read John's answer? Elmer or Erika? Uh, 4 a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. Thank you so much, Erika. 4 a.m. That's right. So very early, muy temprano. That's okay. I'm awake now. All righty. What questions do you have with this? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Any observations, observaciones, comments, comentarios? Solo una observación, Picha. Sí. Eh, nos ayudaría más, tal vez, eh, corrigiéndonos cuando eh, la pronunciación la hacemos algo mal. Sure. Sí, es, es por eso cuando, porque lo, que lo leemos nuevamente, para escuchar la pronunciación correcta. Pero también lo podemos hacer justo después de que ustedes lo lean. That's good. Ok. All right. Any other observations, questions, comments? Yes. Maybe, maybe remember, usually use um, U, uh, UTS or, or UTC and GMT. Yes, that's right. That is right. Tenemos secciones de tiempo. Whoops. Let me share a different screen. And those are, ¿quién fue? ¿Quién dijo eso? ¿Fue Mario? Was that you? Yes, yes. Thank you. And that is Greenwich Mean Time and Coordinated Universal Time. Déjenme mostrarles otra imagen. Yes, that's it because I, I usually use UTC. UTC, right? That is universal time, right? Universal time zones. I think this image creo que no se va a ver tan bien, pero this is important, lo que Mario está comentando. This is really good info. So, Let me share this with you. So GMT versus UTC, Greenwich Mean Time and Coordinated Universal Time, right? So what Mario is using and what do you use it for, Mario, when we're talking to people in different countries or how do you use it? Come you on. Can, when I usually use for calls with, um, I don't know, Dubai. For example, for any any people. Nice, that's right. So, la razón por la que UTC. Thank you so much for this observation. This is really good info. Super super buena información. And the reason it's not included para estas, la razón por la que no lo incluimos en estas, es porque, as you can see here, UTC eh, nos ayuda a medir diferencias de tiempo para cuando vamos a llamar a otras partes del mundo so that we can measure and be prepared. Pero no es un time zone, no es una zona de tiempo. Es decir, eh, no podemos decir que en una parte del mundo están en una UTC. Sí podemos decir que Estados Unidos, una ciudad está en Central Time, una ciudad está en Eastern pero no podemos decir que, por ejemplo, um, Mos 
Moscú o, o a Qatar, ¿verdad? Están en UTC, sino que nos sirve para medir esa diferencia de tiempo, pero no es un time zone. Really, really good info. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? All right. Cool. So let's move into our next section, which is time. Now we're going to start talking a little bit more about time. Vamos a hablar un poco más sobre how to measure time, el tiempo. Right? And we will practice on how we can let someone know what time it is. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Right. So let's do the exercise. Hagamos el ejercicio. Ya vimos que cuando tenemos la hora en punto, we say o'clock. Independently of the time, independientemente de la hora, diremos o'clock cuando sea en punto. So, three o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, twelve o'clock, right? When we have five minutes, cuando tenemos cinco minutos más de la hora, of uh, 1.05, 2.05. We can also say, también podemos decir, it's uh, one and five minutes, or it's one with five minutes. Right? Es bastante común decir 305, 405, 605. Es lo más común, pero también se puede decir de otra manera. Cuando tenemos 15 minutos, 1.15, 2.15, it's 12.15. Or, otra manera de decirlo es que es un quarter. Así como la una y, como decimos en español, la una y cuarto, a quarter after one. Un cuarto después de la una, right? A quarter after two, a quarter after 12, or a quarter after noon. Cuando decimos noon, si decimos afternoon, esto es la tarde, right? Pero solo la palabra noon significa el mediodía. So, a quarter after noon, ¿qué hora sería? ¿Cómo lo escribirían? Podría repetir, Ticha. Un cuarto a las 12. Un cuarto a las 12 o después de las 12. No, cuarto después de las 12, after. Exactly, that's right. Entonces, si ya sabemos que noon es el mediodía, o sea, a las 12, 12.15. 12, 15. Exacto. Para quien me decía que repitiera, sabemos que afternoon 
eh, significa que es la tarde, right? Afternoon, básicamente todo después de las 12, afternoon, y before the night. Pero solo noon es nuestro mediodía. So, noon es básicamente un sinónimo for 12 o'clock, right? For 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So, si decimos a quarter after noon, a quarter after 12 o'clock. Es otra manera en la que lo podemos decir. Teacher. Sí. Uh, what, the, what the meaning of medianoche? Midnight. Excellent question. Midnight. And that Entonces, would be... si, fuera, si fuera contrario, sería a quarter after midnight? Yeah, that's excellent. A quarter after midnight. 12.15, pero a.m., right? Esto es p.m. Y esto sería a.m., porque es la madrugada, so a.m. Excelente. We also have dawn. Que es como lo que va antes del amanecer. Antes del sunrise. Dawn goes before the sunrise, antes de que salga el sol. Y we also have the sunset. Okay. Cuando baja el sol. La puesta del sol. The sunset. Alrighty. Then we have 1.30. Las y media, como le decimos. La una y media. Las dos y media. 1.30. 2.30. Una cuarenta. 1.40. Igual, si tuviéramos una cincuenta. ¿Cómo lo diríamos entonces? Ya conocemos los números. Si una 40 es 140, ¿cómo sería 150? That's right. 150. Exactly. Y luego comenzamos con las horas again, right? ¿Cómo sería esta hora? 155. Exactly. 155. Justo como si fuera. Pronunciation fueran... is five or five. 55. Five. Como con B. Five. Yes, like five. Okay. Nice. Puede ser cualquier número. So, what about this time? Two. Let's see. ¿Cómo diríamos esta hora? p.m. That's right. That's right. So, para que practiquemos también que a veces los, la hora no nos la van a dar exacta, right? So, a veces son las 2.55, so it's 2.55. Sometimes that happens when you tell the time to someone. And finally, 1.45, right? La 1.45, or... A quarter to two. Este es un poco más eh, raro de escuchar que alguien diga a quarter to two, pero sí se escucha en algunos estados. So, a quarter to two es lo mismo que decir 1.45, que faltan 15 minutos para la siguiente hora. So, that's what it means. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengamos hasta aquí? Ready. Let's continue then. Esto es justo lo que estábamos viendo. In the morning, noon, afternoon. Pero let's review it again. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, 
p.m. midnight a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now. All right. And we will take the time right now to go over some pronunciation practice. Vamos a hacer some practice. Y I would just go ahead and pick people of the participants. Voy a escoger a personas que estén en los participantes to practice one set of times. Para que practiquemos todo este set de opciones de cómo decir el, la hora o el tiempo. Right? So, let's see quien no ha participado so far hoy. Can I please have, see, can I please have Dina read this section? It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. Thank you so much, Dina. That's perfect. All right. Let's do the next one, please. Gerardo. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Excellent, Gerardo. That's perfect. Thank you. Let's do the next one, please, Hazel. Thank you. Um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. That is right, Hazel. Thank you so much. Thank it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. What about the next one, please, Irma? It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's um, sixty p.m. 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 Thank you, Irma. So it's seven o'clock in the evening. This word is pronounced evening. Yes, ese periodo entre la tarde y la noche, right? We say evening. At night? Evening. Exactly. Evening, Evening between, Evening. in nuestro país, between 6 p.m. and I would say 7, even 8 p.m., 9, 9 p.m., good evening. Um, siempre vamos a decir good evening, right? A menos que nos vayamos ya a dormir, que decimos good night. Pero, let's say it's seven o'clock in the evening. I would say it until seven. Para mí ya las ocho aquí ya es de noche. Cuando ya está entrada la noche ya decimos it's 9 p.m. at night, right? Or 8 p.m. at night. Thank you. Okay. Can you please do the next one? Uh, Jairo. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. Thank you. And finally, el último, please, Mario. Whoops, can you see my screen? Nope. Oh, nope. There, you, there we go. What yes. about now? Thank yes. you. Yes. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Thank you so much, Mari. That's right. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. or midnight. Alrighty. 
Any questions so far? Alguna duda? Comments, comentarios, observations, observaciones que tengamos so far? Dudas? Doubts? All good? Teacher. Yes? Podría repetir la última oración? Yes. So, decimos, it's 12 o'clock at night. Estos en la noche. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. La medianoche. Thank you. You're welcome. All righty. So, we did that practice. If there are not additional questions, si no tenemos dudas adicionales, we can move on to doing our knowledge check. Vamos a pasar a hacer nuestro knowledge check. Para este knowledge check, we'll complete six questions. Vamos a completar seis preguntas. And then if we have enough time, si tenemos suficiente tiempo, vamos a hacer practica of some vocabulary. Alrighty. So, I also want to continue practicing pronunciation. Quiero que sigamos practicando pronunciation. Entonces, ¿me puede ayudar a leer las instructions, please? Carla Rodríguez. Carla or Kayla Rodríguez. O si no, puede ser también Mauricio, please. Why is everyone so quiet? All right, can we please have Samuel? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. <coughs> Veamos. Mm -hmm. Instruction, look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours display, display on each watch. Thank you so much, Samuel. All right. Thank Let you. me just... I see that some people are not here. So, okay, cool, cool, cool. Si tienen problemas con el micrófono, please let me know in the chat. Otherwise, I'm just making sure si están o no están. Okay. So, look at the clocks and select two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Entonces, vamos a seleccionar las dos opciones posibles, right? Ya vimos que podemos decirlo de dos maneras distintas en algunas ocasiones, como por ejemplo, 1.45. ¿Cuáles son las dos maneras en que lo podemos decir? What are the two ways that we can say this? ¿De qué dos maneras podemos decirlo? Um, 1.45. Exactly. Thank you, Herbert. So we can say 1.45. ¿Y de qué otra manera también lo podemos decir? O falta un cuarto para. Cuarto tú. A quarter to two. That's right. A quarter to two. Exacto. So 1.45, or a quarter to two. Faltando un cuarto para las dos. Thank you. Perfect. Alrighty. So we will choose the two available options. Siguiendo este ejemplo, what time is it? 
basándonos en el reloj. It's basing on the clock. So, right here, this 20 after 2 or 2.20. Las 2 y 20 o 20 minutos después de las 2. All right. Let's do the first one. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es aquí en este reloj? In English. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. Okay, okay. And what's the other option? ¿Qué otra opción? It's 6. Fifty. Six fifty. Six fifty. Alrighty. Let's choose. Let's choose. Uh, let's go ahead and choose. Y recuerden que siempre vamos a verificar las respuestas and go back and check. So let's choose those and we will do the review afterwards. Okay. The next one. What time is it in this clock? ¿Qué hora es en este reloj? It's a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine, all right. And the other option? It's eight. It's, eight. it's 45. 45. Awesome, 8.45. What about this one? What time is it in this clock? Five after 11. And 11 oh five. Eleven oh five. In eleven oh five. Awesome. Perfect. What about this one? What do you say? What time is it? Three fifteen. It's three. Three fifteen. Three fifteen. All right. Three fifteen and. It's a quarter of three. It's a quarter of three. Quarter after three. After three. Awesome. And final one, exercise number six. What time is it in this clock? It's 4 30. It's 4 30. 4 30. All right. It's half past four. And half past four. All right. Let's review then. Let's see how we did. That's it. We are right. Es correcto. So let's do a quick review on how we did this exercise. So what time is it? Right here. It is 6.50. Porque falta para hacer las 7 todavía, right? So it's 6.50. It's 10 to 7. Faltan 10 minutos. 10 to 7. We have 8.45 here. It's not nine yet. Todavía no son las nueve. It's not nine yet. We need a quarter. So we need 15 minutes for it to be 9 p.m. We are missing a quarter. So it's a quarter to nine or 8.45. Es la misma hora. It's five after 11. Cinco minutos después de las once. Or 11.05. It could be 10.05, 9.05. Podemos decirlo así. Here it's 3.15, 3 with 15 minutes, or a quarter after three, quarter, 15 minutes. And finally, what time is it here? It's half past four, or 4.30, 30 minutes after four. Any questions that you have with this exercise? Questions, observations, comments? Con este ejercicio? All good. ¿Todo bien? Sí. En el ejercicio 6, uh -huh. it's half past four. La pronunciación está bien. It's half past four. Half past four. It's half past four. Yes, that's right. Gracias. Bueno. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta que puedan tener? 
el 3 como dijo que era? La opción 3. Let's see. Exercise 3. My time is it. Tenemos 8.45. Estamos a las 8 y nos faltan 15 minutos. So, 5, 5, 5, 5. Nos faltan 15 minutos. Or a quarter to 9. O nos falta un cuarto de la hora. So, a quarter to 9 or 8.45. 8 to 9. 8.45 or a quarter to nine. A quarter, it's a quarter to nine. That's right, a quarter to nine. Teacher, eh, solo una consulta. Sí. Eh, hay veces que yo me confundo en la pronunciación cuando está el it, pero yo oigo que usted la, la como que la uniera me entiende ya yeah. dice mm. it is in year 45 entonces decimos it's 8 ahí estoy diciendo it's 8.45 it's 8.45 it's 8.45 that's right it's 8.45 it's 8.45 está bien así correcto Any other questions that you might have, observations? Con cualquier ejercicio? Pronunciation, doubts. All good? All righty. Okay. In that case, we can have a few minutes to go over some vocabulary. Podemos tener algunos minutos para revisar vocabulario. Estuvimos viendo last time zone, so specific mountain, central time, eastern, que son las más usuales que vamos a ver. Y vimos que la nuestra es central time. Entonces estamos a la misma hora que todos estos estados aquí. Now, we are going to take the time to review. Ah, bueno. Y también, we can see that when we're talking about cities, cuando hablamos de ciudades, podemos ver que la mayoría cambian. Eh, estos son countries, right? Pero we can also talk about cities. Lo que quiero que veamos es cómo en la mayoría de Europa sí cambian los nombres de las ciudades o de los países. And when we're talking about South America, se mantienen los nombres. Son pocos los países que van a cambiar su, eh, su nombre. How so? El único país o de los únicos países que vamos a decir con otro nombre es Brazil. Right? Porque le cambiamos por una Z, lo que nosotros conocemos como Brasil. Brasil. Los demás prácticamente se mantienen. Right? Venezuela, Colombia. Ustedes perfectamente lo pueden decir como Colombia, Venezuela. No hay necesidad de decirlo como americanizado. Pero es pues también útil que sepan cómo pueden llegarlo a escuchar. Right? Chile, Paraguay, Argentina. Brasil, Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Venezuela, Colombia, El Salvador, <ríe> El Salvador, Honduras, lo van a escuchar decirlo mucho, Nicaragua, Belice, Belice es otro país que cambia, nosotros lo conocemos como Belice, en inglés se escribe Belice. Costa Rica. Costa Rica, se dice igual exacto. Costa Rica remains the same. Panama, Panama. And then Mexico, right? Mexico. The United States, Canada. All of that. En cambio, los países, oops. Los países europeos, sí cambiamos un poco el nombre o la pronunciación, no para todos, right? Que Estonia, por ejemplo, es the same Estonia, pero sí cambian algunos como Dinamarca, we have Denmark, 
pero quiero que hagamos esta, esta práctica de pronunciation. So, we will read, vamos a leer el país, la nacionalidad y el lenguaje que ellos ocupan. All right. We will read Estonia, Estonian, and Estonian. Para que podamos hacer la práctica de vocabulary hoy. So, let's start here with this one, please, Alex. Y se encuentra por aquí. Sí. Sería eh, Estonia. Uh -huh. Los otros, la nacionalidad y el lenguaje. Estonian y Estonian. Thank you. All right. So we have Estonia, Estonia, Estonian, and Estonian. Thank you, Alex. Right. Let's do the next one, please. Hagamos el siguiente, please. Arlene. British, English, and English. Thank you so much, Arlene. Revisamos la pronunciation, entonces decimos Britain. Esta se dice casi como que fuera una E. Mostly like Britain or Britain. La nacionalidad es British or British. So when someone is from Great Britain or the United, the, not the full United Kingdom, but from the Great Britain, it is British or English from England, right? And they speak English. What about this one? Hagamos este, please. We... Please, Elmer, si está por aquí. Um, Denmark, Danish, and Danish. That's right. Thank you so much, Elmer. So Denmark, right? Dinamarca. They speak Danish and their nationality, su nacionalidad es Danish or Danish. Danish or Danish. They're both correct. Ambos están bien. All right. What about this one, please, Giovanni? Hello, Giovanni. All right. I think he's not here. Si tienen problemas con el audio, please let me know. All right. Then can we please do the next one, Ivan? Iceland, Icelandic, Icelandic. That's perfect. Es correcto. That's right, Ivan. Iceland, Icelandic, and Icelandic is their language and their nationality. Iceland. Islandia. Let's do the next one, please. Let's see. Jorge. Thank you so much. Sí, y ahí escuché que alguien lo dijo. It's Irish, right? Irish. Ireland. Irlanda. Ireland. Ireland. They are Irish. Nationality. And they speak Irish. Hablan Irish. Y hablan inglés también. They speak English and Irish. Thank you. Let's do the next one. Please, Luis. Hola. 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 
¿Podemos leer el siguiente, please? Sí. That, that's bien. That's bien. That's bien. That's right. Thank you so much, Luis. Latvia es el mismo país en español. Latvia. They are Latvian, su nacionalidad, and they speak Latvian. What about this one, please? Mario. Lithuania. Lithuanian, Lithuanian. That's right, that's correct. Lithuania, right? Es el mismo Lituania. En español, Lithuania. Next up, please, Samuel. Hello. Um, Hi, Eh, veamos, dice Norway. Eh, el siguiente sería Nor. Um, no lo puedo pronunciar. Diríamos Norwegian. 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 Y Norwegian. Exactly. Decimos lo mismo para el language. Norway, okay. Norwegian y Norwegian. Ok, ok. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Noruego, right? Noruega y hablan noruego. Ok. Son noruegos. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's please Hola. continue with... Let's see, let's see. Let's try, uh, 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 who hasn't read? Gustavo, can you help us with this one? Island, Finnish, and Finnish. Thank you, Gustavo. So we say Finland. Finland. That's right, Finland, Finnish, and Finland. Finnish. Yes, exactly. So Finlandia, right? Finland, Finnish, and the Finnish. A no confundirlo con, la, con el verbo finish, de finalizar, right? Ese solo lleva una N. Finnish, la nacionalidad, lleva dos. Cool. Alrighty. So, we will stop right here. Nos vamos a detener hasta aquí porque ya nos falta un minuto para que lleguemos a la hora. Tomorrow, Vamos a revisar rising and falling intonation. Vamos a hacer más práctica de vocabulario. Eh, y vamos a ver también algunas diferencias entre pronunciaciones americanas y europeas o británicas. Right? So that we can recognize and start practicing those two pronunciations. Y no se confundan si llegan a escuchar uno o el otro acento. Right? We will do a knowledge check with that. Vamos a verificar qué tanto estamos comprendiendo al escuchar audios. And then we will go into the topic of the present continuous. Vamos a continuar, vamos a empezar con el tema del presente continuo. So things that are happening right now. And we'll review WH questions with that. Alrighty. And that will be all for today. It is 10 p.m. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. 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 Good night.